The Samsung Galaxy S3 is coming soon to all four carriers, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint. So what does this mean for you if you're looking for a new phone? Well, if you want the latest, greatest features from a smartphone, this phone has all of them. But that's kind of part of the problem. If you're looking for anything unique or anything that really stands out, the Galaxy S3 doesn't really add anything. It's got a very thin design, which makes it feel a little bit uh, lighter in the hand than some previous devices, including the iPhone. It's even thinner than the iPhone, but it has that big 4.8 inch screen. So even though it's big, it doesn't feel quite as big as it actually is. Battery life was pretty good for a 4G device uh, that has such a huge screen. Lasted a day, that's pretty typical for most smartphones out there. Uh, it wasn't ideal, it definitely didn't last more than a day, but, but not bad. Call quality was fine, all the things that you, uh, you, you typically expect were good, including speed. And the screen resolution was beautiful. Uh, for, for a screen of that size, uh, you really got a lot of bang out of all those pixels. One thing that I really didn't like about the Galaxy S3 is how bloated it was with a lot of the programs that Samsung added on itself. It has a, a Siri-like functionality, which was nice. It worked sometimes, but it, it didn't work all the time. It has a media hub that you actually have to go through pains to set up. It has an app recommendation engine, which didn't really work for me. There, there were a number of features that uh, sounded nice, but took a good deal of setup. I would have liked it better had they eliminated some of those and allowed me to download those myself if I wanted those. All in all, it's a fantastic Android phone. If you're looking for uh, a, a device that uh, doesn't have quite as many useless features but is more or less the same kind of device, you can look for the Galaxy Nexus phone if you can find one. Actually, Apple won an injunction against that device, so it's currently not for sale. If you're looking for something right now, the Galaxy S3 is coming out pretty soon.